glad to be of service. Once we saw his wickedness on display, there was not many options he left open to us. It was us or him. Also, the fact that he was using the tree to mind control people and turn them into abominations didn't help. Precisely. Yes. Well, then, you people. Bothering. You are welcome here. Anything I can do to be of service. Well, considering that uh, you already uh, agreed for us to move freely through the space, we should not bother you anymore. Uh, on, you know, we wish to not have any more confrontations with your people. So, if word can come out that we can pass safely, that will do. Gladly, says Dern, and he rushes out of the room to confront the goblins strewn throughout the area. My people, Balak is defeated. Rejoice. Hail the conquering heroes. Goblins and hobgoblins alike ru uh, rush to approach you, reaching out to touch you, overjoyed in tears at their freedom. You have obviously done the these people a great service. I nod and thank and maybe shake a hand or two, right? You know, but I will not. We, we, we did what we came here to do. I'll, I'll well, go ahead and give a pat on Oath Blaze's back. No, soak it up. You're a hero now. Feel proud. Oh, that, 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 that path leads to arrogance. Well, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself a little bit. Well, that path leads to the dark side. What? But the dark side has cookies. <gasps> oh, well, be right there. I like cookies. <laughs> but the cookies are made of people. All right. Mm -hmm. good, weird. <laughs> so out into the main hallway into celebration. Yeah. Let there be death. All right. So yeah, as you uh, as you pass out into the main chamber, you see. Goblins surrounding you, overjoyed celebration. There's feasting and drinking, firecrackers going off, and bright, smiling, gobbling faces wherever you turn. It's weird. I don't remember the room being in ruins, but I also don't remember seeing that much of it. Well, that was That's basically a good hoard. garbage file for them. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember so much about this floor as I do the last one. We went through here, so okay. That's... Yep. Yeah, I feel like we like zoomed through this place. Hey, you guys want to get the hell out of my way? You're, like, blocking my path. Just go around them. No, why are they even still standing here? Just move forwards. Alexander, we're leaving you. Dern! Get the fuck out of the <laughs> way! Erky. Stop being a jerky. Erky. I won't get lost in here, you guys. I have an impeccable sense of direction. Uh-huh. You Come won't see you lose later. me. Oh. Dern, fucking move! You in front of me. What are you doing? Move through the doorway or to the side. Are you talking okay. to the dead thing on the floor? No, I'm talking to the hobgoblin to my left or to my right. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. This is not the way. This is not the way. This is the way. That, that's not the way. Body over there. Literally, yes. neither one of them have an X on them. They're alive. There is a dead body in the doorway, but these two yes. are like shoulder checking me from going past them. I found a door that we haven't opened, and I'm going to try that key that we found on it. So go ahead. I can imagine what happens. All right, fine. Then I'll go over here and sit in this chair with a TV in front of oh, me, apparently. No, I'm in, the, I'm in the room that you're not supposed to say uh, anything about um, fire in. Oops. Ah! You mean let there be fire? No! Or was it let there be flame? You have to say that in Draconic, though, for it to work. Oh, sorry. I walk across the room, and now you get up. You stupid son of a bitch. You look like you saved your ass. <laughs> All right. So, I believe there was one body around here for us to collect up and around the corner here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, if uh, that's not a problem, we'll go ahead and uh, add that to our pile, if that's okay, Nick. Uh, I see the white yeah, dragon that's is still in there. Mm -hmm. okay. It'd be a lot easier if somebody had necromantic powers to get these body b bodies back. 
If only we knew a cool and powerful necromancer. I don't know. No, I, mean, I don't even know if you're mocking me because I don't have those powers yet. I say <laughs> shouting place. down the hallways. <laughs> you will not mock the dead that way. I'm also staring at the white dragon right now. Uh oh. Well, I that, mean, that just sounds like a really bad analogy for addiction, you know? I mean, I know where y'all are at. I just Stare. don't know if you guys stopped at the White Dragon or not, because I'm just looking at him. He no. hasn't moved in apparently 12 hours. Maybe yeah, he's, he's dead. in his little house. He's sleeping on his hoard. Mm hmm. All right. Well, I guess I was a walk past. Again, I have an impeccable sense of direction. Plus, I already know that I looted all these caltrops, so they're not actually here on the map. Mm hmm. I remember that. Hey, buddies. You. So in this, um... Look at you, Nat. I told you you couldn't fucking lose me. <laughs> Does uh, the key work on this door? The key that I got from... Um... So can you do me a favor, Ping? Yeah, sorry. I'm in the, uh... On... The, the left be fire Which room. door? This door to the left? I this don't think door? we ever got that in that. I'm pinging on it. Can you see it? Not seeing your ping. See, the problem is that you have a black ping on a oh. black back, blackish background. True. How do I change that? Um, you, you know, you I don't even your player color. Where uh, in the bottom? Right. The problem is, his player color bottom is pink. Left. I don't know why he's pinging black. Yeah, that's pretty Good weird. Good question. Actually, I'll try changing it to. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Bear, I see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, bear with me a sec here. There we go. All right. Because, uh, I mean, if that doesn't open that door, then you remember there's another key. That, we that know. said... We do have multiple keys, and um, now that I've leveled up, I can try it again. No, no, I mean... That door's a... not locked, dude. Oh, it's not locked? That door's not locked. You guys just never got to uh, checking it out. Oh. No, I mean, well, the, the, you remember the leader of the kobolds has a key above their chair. Oh, you're right. But um, that was I'm specifically use... for uh, solving the dragon problem, which we didn't. Right. But somebody has mage hand, mage hand later. I'm not saying that out loud in front of Meepo. Um, right, but you're also... Speaking of... Nobody will notice this key floating through the air. Right above the person everybody's looking at, who's sitting uh, right below it. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, um, King, you want to come out here? I'm going to open this door with my new Mage Hand ability. This kind of be like, I don't like touching the doors. What if I stand back here and open it? Well, then you're not really perceiving them for traps, are you? Nah. Okay, now I'm going to peek down here. Do a little... Do a little stealth and then it's like an altar. Oh, I'm gonna check that room for traps. <laughs> there are uh, there are no traps. Oh, Five okay. dusty sarcophagi, three to the north and two to the south, stand on end in this silent chamber. Each of the carved stone coffin resembles a noble elf-like humanoid in ceremonial robes. An altar with images of dragons carved into its black obsidian is set in the center of the west wall. A single candle burns brightly on the altar. Next to the candle are a small whistle and a crystal flask. I mean, the fact there's a candle burning in here means somebody's been in here recently. Unless it's one of those eternal candles, which I say is a joke, but also do <laughs> exist because this is a fantasy world. I lean over Nat's head and I whisper, Let there be death. Yeah. I run into the room here. Well, it seems like the uh, catchphrase for a room that's full of dead people. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> not dead. Job. Nothing untoward happened here. No, no, certainly not. There seems to be some sort of elven lore of some sort, maybe a way of burying the dead. I, I'd yes. say a swift, a swift prayer to Pador. Yes, elves and Egyptians were quite the same. And I'm just going to look behind these things and kind of inspect that sarcophagus without touching it or opening it. 
Is there uh, anything written on it? Oh, never mind. It looks like we're, uh... Nope. Seems like the fight has gone away. Sorry, it's still my computer being a dick about where I click. All right. So there, there's nothing particularly of note about these or these sarcophagi. Uh, they are about seven feet tall, um, car carved of solid oak, each one bearing motifs and reliefs of uh, various dragon art, uh, dragon imagery. Um, yeah, aside from that, there's nothing particularly of no satisfaction. No writing, no runes, or anything like that? No writing, no runes. Hieroglyphics? Just the uh, typical dragon cult imagery that you've found to expect around this area. Pictographs. Now, Von Oathblaze, how do you feel about um, desecrating evil uh, dragon cult um, burial sites? Hmm. How do we know that they're evil barrier dragon sites? Um, well, this one has a picture of a uh, dragon eating a virgin. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Really now, Alexander? No, really. How Is exactly it? do they represent that pictographically? Oh, woman on a, uh, a spike. <laughs> woman, single woman on a spike standing on a hill uh, being devoured by a dragon. Classic uh, dragon Classic. cult uh, virgin sacrifice imagery. Do good people do that? I'm just very curious about what's in it, and I have a feeling it's some sort of a um, undead thing of some sort. Well, so. open well, if that's your feeling, then you should do it. You should not do it. Wait, he said <laughs> we should do it. So, no, we should not. So let's open it. No. He said should. I said shouldn't. He said should first. I, it was a mistake. <laughs> well, we all have to live with our mistakes. Well, I don't want to live with someone else's mistake. So leave it alone, Matt. But there could be something valuable inside. I'm and convinced. I open it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> all right. So as you open one sarcophagi... And All the sarcophagi the open, and five skeletons creep out, hissing and biting and ready to attack. Let's have some initiative. Remember to have your token selected when you hit the initiative thing. Thank you. Cool. Great place to be to roll an eight. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, but I can say I'm disappointed. <laughs> So the reason I left the room is so I could open the, one of the sarcophagi with my new mage hand ability. Well, maybe you should have alluded to that before letting me just be a dick. <laughs> I was working on the sentence, but then the, then they got opened. Well, well, it worked out in the end, didn't it? Your plan was still to open them. <laughs> and now you have somebody else to take the brunt. Yes, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not really we have to live with our mistakes, don't we? Yes. Alexander. <laughs> All right. Look, 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 if I go down, I want you to carve it on the tombstone. We have to live <laughs> with our mistakes. Let's <laughs> hope that not Necromancer almost. Let's hope that doesn't have to happen. And I drew my right, Oathblaze, you're up. Well, I charge. Hmm. Oh, better than that, I can just try to turn the turn on dead. Let's see if I can actually turn on dead. Then we can just get out of here and leave the exceltons to their own devices. Let's see. Ah. Nice quick end to the fight. Mm -hmm. well, I think it only makes them run away, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, which they means they'll stay the in door. the room. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but that where they belong. And we can just shut the door with exactly. Alexander and the zombies in there. No, thank you. Without the crystal whistle? Yeah, you left it behind. I don't think I have actually turned on dead yet. No? So that by level 3, you would. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, channel 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 channel. Channel. Yes. So I do that. Uh, I actually present your song with him, but speak a channel. Each fiend on dead can see or hear within 30 feet of you can make a wisdom saving throw, which would be an 11 for me. Uh, if I raise my shield, which has this, this, uh, the, the son of Paler, uh, and I say, 
By Pele's light, go back to where you came from. Wait, is that right? Is it only an 11? What's your wisdom? It's my, um... It's, uh, it's not, it's, a, they have to make a wisdom saving throw, but it's my, uh... Yeah, it's your spell safe DC, isn't it? The spell, yeah, it's eight, and my wisdom is a, uh, whopping 14. So it's an 11. Oh, okay. Does that include proficiency bonus? Is that included in spell save DC? I don't think so. Let me double check yeah, that. Yeah, if it's... Um, if oh, so it could be a 13 then. That sounds more 13. right. There you 13 go. then. Right earth. 13? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're at minus one for these skeletons. Yeah, they uh, they are terrified. They cower before Paylor's light. So hmm. Let's get out of here. Grab whatever you're going to grab, and let's leave. Yeah, get the Do stuff not. out of that that main that main thing while you're in there. Mm-hmm. Open the box. What's in the box? I, no, I with mage hand push the uh the sarcophagus at the end of the room. I push that off if I can. I think it only does like up to 10 pounds. So I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, if it's made of stone, that might not be feasible. Also, at yeah, the same that's time, not gonna... crystal whistle on top of it, you're just going to smash that. Oh, crystal hmm. whistle. Oh, you, did, you, did you grab it? I'm last in initiative. No. Oh, well, whose turn? Oh, is it my turn now? Uh, yeah. it it's Nat's turn. Done. Yeah. Nat's okay. Dead. 10, 15... 20, 25 feet gets me right up to the crystal whistle, if that's what it is. Now, uh, it. attack of opportunity from that skeleton as you pass by. No, okay. they, they're all going to run to the corner, and they will only attack it there. It's not their turn yet, though. They have to wait yeah. for their turn, and that goes before them. So Yeah, they're fearful. They're not. Uh, let me read fear so that we have a condition. Yeah, because I thought they could still AOC as well. AOA. Yeah. Okay, uh, frightened. Frightened creature has wrong. an advantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the course is of its sphere is within line of sight. The creature can be willingly move closer to the sword of its sphere. Yeah, they can attack with this advantage, actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why didn't I just grab the, the sphere with my mage hand? And... Ah, that's what I thought you were We all have to one. live with our uh, bad choices or whatever <laughs> the fuck I said earlier. With your mistakes. There you yep. go. Well, good thing is that they can't attack me twice on the other side so um how to do no i don't believe wait unless it had advantage it missed me a disadvantage yeah it missed you okay i grab it and i move back and i probably get an attack of opportunity right. from the other guy yep bad disadvantage again Ooh, Ooh, good. 16 hit wait that does hit let's see if it kills me um well, it's only eight damage eight damage because remember, it Ow. adds the bonus on there, assuming that a crit happens. The, so. Yeah, that's the critical bonus. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. only eight. All right. And then I just uh, end up back here after taking my eight points. That's all. Alexan- Alexander? That made me feel dumb. Uh, Disengage. No, it's uh, Silverleaf goes next. Hmm. Oh, but I'm saying, I'm saying to you, Alexander, just get out of there. Get, let's go. Why? They're fearful. This is like perfect opportunity to eliminate if- them. If you attack them, they will stop being fearful. Well, only one of them will. The one I attack. Mm. Well, I'm going to get out of the room. If you want to live with... Well... If I want to live with killing the undead... I no, think if you I want can... to live, period, because I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to be five against Come one. with me if you want to leave. See, I think I can take skeletons. Uh, yeah, I suppose seeing what's happening, I'll go ahead and move up here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Shillelagh. And I'm going to just reserve an action in case the skeleton does pop up over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, since they're all fearful, this is as good as it gets right now. Additionally, if you just stay in the doorway, they can't move in your direction. So, yeah, basically. Yes. Alright, the skeletons are going to do their damnedest to get away from you. Mm-hmm. I just move right here, and I will attack the skeleton right here. It's one in the middle. With Shatter Spike. Unfortunately, they're not objects. That will, Actually, that will first, I will... Um, 
First, I'll cast Hex on it. As a bonus. Uh, is a attack opportunity a reaction or a bonus action? It's reaction. Then they couldn't reaction. do a. They couldn't do a. They they couldn't uh, attack uh, Nat. Why not? Uh, it can also take reactions. Turn creature must spend the turn trying to move far away from it can, and it can it can't willingly move to a space within thirty feet of you. It also can not take reactions, but it's actually can only use the dash hey. action to try to escape from an effect that prevents uh. it from moving. If there's nothing okay. more to move, the creature can can use the dodge action. They can use the dodge action, but they cannot. Well, while you've got the page open, uh, what page are um, status effects on? Oh, that's. Or were you looking up somewhere else? Now I'm looking at uh, uh, the turn on dead. Oh, okay. Oh, anyway, I just found it anyway. Appendix A is on page 290. It's just good mm -hmm. to know for future. I'm sure we're going to get all sorts of different shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's the uh, turn on dead uh, on the on page eighty six of the PHP for anybody who's interested. Just making a what? note there for the future. That's the next page two ninety one. Uh, what page do you say your thing was on? Uh, I can do one better. I'm assuming you copied and pasted it somewhere. <laughs> I have way too many windows open. Yeah. No. Nope. Wow. Oh, you put no. Where did you where did you put it? I was trying to get it, and it just classes cleric, and it just gives me a huge page on it instead of just giving me the 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 just the, the ability. Okay, let me. Okay, here it is. That's it. Should be everybody should see it now. Channel Divinity turned unholy. Ah, oh, damn it! The same moment right. you posted that somebody else posted something in Discord, and I thought I looked over there thinking it was you posting it to Discord. Ah, damn it! It's too much <laughs> shit going on. Anyway, has nothing to do. I yeah, guess anyway. you just don't take eight. Uh, you didn't take eight damage then, that. Mm -hmm. I'm Reverse happy about that. that. Now let me roll my attack. Cool. That's a miss. An I eleven mean, is a miss. A ten. An eleven's a miss. It would be a ten still. I already added everything in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because no, my normal long sword is a plus five. So that's me. The fact I didn't even hit it though means that the fear is not broken. <laughs> All right. Both places up. Who's next? They just said you like three times. Oh, I'm still in the door. So who's next? Nat. Oh, you, you mean after? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well. I'm going to take advantage of a sneak attack shot on... Uh, which one have you attacked already? The one right in front of you? Mm -hmm. um, just directly west? Okay. I'm going to... As long as I can shoot it. No, I'm going to I'm gonna attack this one. Sneak attack is going to be uh, great. Don't get that stealth. Oh, yeah. Bonus action hide in order to get the sneak attack. Although... As as you have a friend adjacent, you get sneak yeah, then attack. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I, don't, I thought that I'm was not backstab. Even... Sorry. Oh, trust. Yeah, I understand that. Sometimes the names of things are the confusing thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Here comes a short bow shot. It's like an iron claw and everything. That would be like the tactics bonus. 16 hits. All right. Roll damage for the short bow and my now 2d6 sneak attack. Um, 10 damage. Hey, hey. Ooh. Ho, ho. Wait, what? No, that shouldn't have been enough to... Hold on a sec.
almost enough, but that's uh, not quite enough to kill it. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I've got um, a spell Spare the Dying. <laughs> spare the Undead. I have totally uh, no idea how magic works. That is the end of my turn. I'm not going to go in there. Olerbin. Uh Okay, well, it looks like uh, Alexander's a little bit busy. You have no intention of retreating, do you, Alexander? No, of course not. <clears throat> well, in order to prevent terrible things from happening to him, I'll go ahead and advance. And you are engaging with this one, correct? At the moment, I am not. I am trying to. Oh. In that case, let me go ahead and um, boop a doop. I see the one that's actually injured, which is over here. So I kind of have to shuffle onto that sarcophagus. Which is seven uh, feet tall, by the way. Yep. How tall right, is yeah, shuffle around it. Uh, and I'll go ahead and take a whack at him. All right. What do you got? I got a six. <laughs> oh, uh, brilliant showing. You should well, have turned into a donkey. I don't anger him any more than I already have. <laughs> That's the turn. That's your turn. All right. Um, so are they still fearful? They will continue to be fearful. What's they will continue to be fearful. How long does that last? Until, Until attacked, attacked or... Until attacked. One? Yeah, so the one is fine and the others can make attacks with disadvantage. Sorry, I'm through. It's turned for one minute or until it takes damage. That's what, six oh, rounds? Okay. Uh, no, that's ten rounds. These ten rounds. Mm -hmm. These games, man. These fucking games. They all have different turns. I don't know if it yeah. was six seconds. All right, so Olufen, short sword. So six seconds, yes. Oh. So, yeah. Ah, everyone loves just striking back after I do terribly. I'm just that unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I take all it to the right. face. And I guess uh, one will uh, one will go for Alexander with disadvantage. Yeah, that ain't doing. I nothing. guess I take it to my face is the name of my autobiography. <laughs> okay. The rest are gonna gonna just cower and try to back I mean, in further against the say, wall. Technically, this guy could get further away from Von Othlays. Now, climb over here? No, yeah, he could stand right here. He, he's not going to climb on the table at this point. I mean, look, this guy is standing on the top of a sarcophagus seven feet in the air. He's, like, fighting from on top of the fridge. So, I think these guys... And he's doing that on his own accord. Talking to you, Griffin. I don't need your sass. You don't need it, but you get it 12 hours a day. <laughs> Oh, Dang. very nice. Nice. Which one? So it's automatically a crit. Yeah, the one in front of me, the same one I've been trying okay. to attack. So it's Shadow automatically Spike. a crit. Plus that one's hexed, so it gets a bonus D6 damage. Wait. Why is it automatically a Because it's Shatter Spike. It says, doesn't it? No, it's not. Yeah. It's an object. Sorry, this is one of those object, weird yeah. rules that de word definition things. Anyway, it's still twelve damage plus D6. So 14 damage. All right. And with that, the uh, the skeleton collapses. And then I shift. Uh, Erky's going to run in. I shift the hex up to this guy who's already injured. Oh. Get hexed. Erky's going to run in and cast. Oh, come on. Sacred Flame on the already injured skeleton. For six radiant. And that skeleton falls. And Von Oath plays. You're up. I'm keeping the um uh, main. <sighs> If I move, I'm gonna move closer, just to uh, be able to interpose my shield if anybody gets attacked. Although they they already have a um, disadvantage, 
But if mm -hmm. somebody falls or something, I'll be within reach to able to heal them. Great. Very well. All right. Um, I imagine I'm next here. So All right. All right. Yeah. Matt is going to... Actually, none of them are... Since you didn't attack that one right there, none of them are engaged in melee right now. So I'm going to sneak in. Uh, and then roll a little stealth roll here to bonus action hide. Phew! Hey, you guys! <laughs> so, I imagine I'm not stealth, depending on its passive perception. Yeah, no. All right, well, regular shot with the, uh, the old sh short bow here. Actually, no. Told the dead. Told, there's no reason told the dead wouldn't work on undead, right? I literally don't remember what the spells is. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it would work. It's just that what they need it? to be... They need to be injured first for it to be uh, really effective. Actually, was Told the Dead a cantrip from another book that is not? I guess it's worth looking up, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. I think it's from the PHP. You know, I think it's actually from Santa Yep, Santa Claus Guide. Okay. Right, clear. Good, good. That's it's, good. It's good. Uh, it does more damage than my straight up uh, short bow, so I'm going to. I'm going to roll that here. Oops. And it says uh, nothing about uh, not doing anything to undead, except for, uh -huh. you know, that sometimes some undead are resistant to necrotic. Resistant to necrotic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Uh, uh, pull cool. this up. I have to be on... I'm on the wrong page to be able to just... I mean, it's also a good thing that you failed your stealth check since it has a verbal component. <laughs> Me too. Oh, that, you shot that shit too. from over there. Okay, well, that didn't show up in my... I'm going to have to do this manually with rolls because uh, I'm not able to click on the spell here and have it do a thing. Which is kind of weird. Yeah, it might have added an attack macro if you copied it over. Yeah, from the where your idea. weapons macros are. Mm -hmm. Those usually yeah, it, the damage. It didn't, it, it didn't actually make one there, unfortunately. No, well, but it's just so. a matter of typing. All right, roll. Hit that D12. Well, I mean, they have to roll their wisdom first, right? Yeah. Oh. They did not make it. Uh, spell save was 13. Um, and they're all undamaged yeah. so far, so there's the D8s. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Who damage? Take that. That was a lot. Now I know how that works. All right. Uh, that's going to be the end of my turn. And there's two damage to this fella right there. This one right here. Ah. Olerman. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and shift down here. And take whack. Hey, that is oh, a very nice. beautiful little critical for 13. Look at that. All Just right. And let's go. The skeleton's head comes off, and the rest of the body falls to the ground. Any further movement? Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and advance up a little bit, because I know that my friend Nat can go ahead and take advantage of it. You know, that's literally Yay. the only way it can attack you right now, right? Eh. <laughs> It's going to attack you. Okay. <laughs> it, it's a try it. Hundreds have tried beforehand and none have succeeded. And yet another failure against the wall that is all open. <laughs> oh, I'm right. invincible. Turn. Alexander. Of my hubris. Bonus action shift the <laughs> hex to this guy in the upper left corner. Then I move up and I attack it. That's a hit. Plus. So, 13 damage. Where does the plus 4 come from? Hex. 
Because literally the first thing I the did hex. was I shifted the, the hex. hex. Yeah. On any consecutive turn, I can shift the hex after the creature that had the hex on it dies. So never mind. I forgot the hex did that. Yep. Uh, Zero that. Perky. That plus the um, uh, disadvantage to a, a attribute of my choice. It just never comes into play, so I never say it. All right. Well, Erky's gonna wait. Erky's gonna run the back here. And cast Sacred Flame. No, the room was filled with methane gas. We're all dead. <laughs> Does divine magic ignite sparks? Yes. D&D <laughs> &D, 2nd Edition, I had a wizard die that way. Nice. Because I thought it would be a genius move to throw flaming shit down into the room full of undead that have apparently been building a, uh, like, castle keep for centuries. So all the methane buildup of their decomposing bodies built up <laughs> down there, and I literally killed myself in a massive explosion. Well, at least that's a good way to go. Well, actually, it wasn't the explosion that killed me. It was my familiar who was also in the explosion killing me, because wizards in D&D 2nd Edition have no hit points, and when your familiar dies, you permanently lose as much hit points as they have, and my familiar hit the ground before I did. Mm -hmm. Because witches only have a 1d4. Yep, and my yeah. familiar had two hit points, and I had two hit points as well. So when they died, I died. So that plays you up. Yeah, on that note. I guess I move one step further. And I'm, I'm ready my action as a reaction if... Uh, He's going to attack um, Auburn. Um, I'll interpose my shield so that they have uh, a uh, disadvantage. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. <clears throat> For my movement, I'm going to climb up on top of this uh, sarcophagus right in front of me. Um, okay. okay. And just so I can get a, a an angle on the thing um, with the two guys standing in front of me. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that stealthily so that I can get an advantage with this short bow. Uh, so here comes a stealth roll. You. And then here comes, uh, provided that that's successful. That's successful. All right. It's got a wisdom of eight, dude. I rolled an eleven. You rolled a short sword. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm not good with that. We get to the short sword. Actually, I think it would be the same roll. I think it's still a plus four. Well, even worse. Well, actually, you have advantage, so you hit. I don't know. Yeah, that one. How do you, like you want? What the hell is Nat doing? Climbing up there, throws a short sword. I think the kid's gone <laughs> feral. <laughs> In why he wasn't. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's see some damage for that. Four. Yay. Although I told the dead would have been more effective there. Depends. Um, oh, right. I didn't roll so sneak attack. Have... Sorry. Sorry, there's an extra five from sneak attack. Alright. Fabulous. So the final uh the final skeleton falls to the ground, a mass of shattered bones and dust. <laughs> He's dead. Oops. Happy now? Uh, no, no not yet. I pick that. up the crystal uh, whistle. I put it in my I already lips. Have it. I already have it. Do you? I don't remember yeah. you saying that. That's yeah, why I went he, in there. He took it. Yeah, he oh, he okay. Well, then I, two, I snapped it from that and put it in my lips. No taking back. You can't, hey, I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm nine feet off the ground right now. Yeah, and I'm 17 feet tall. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess I'm going to open the lid then, since I'm right here. Yes! And you blow the whistle. Okay. All right. Would you like to look at the whistle first? No. Covered yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inspect it. All right, so the whistle is carved from transparent crystal. It resembles a tiny dragon curled up like a snail. There does appear to be what look like dwarvish runes etched into the whistle. I just had a weird idea, guys. What's going to summon that uh, dragon, isn't it? 
or control the white dragon. No way. If, if okay. it's a dog whistle, it's going to infuriate it. Um, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're examining that whistle, can you do me a favor? Roll mm-hmm. an arcana or history check, whichever is higher. Mm, they're both the same. So how many of you can read Dwarven? Let me see. I think I can. I mean, I can read every language. I just want to know how many other people. I got a... a don't get advantage on it unless somebody's helping me, but... Um, uh, yeah, so that's a nine, which is not going to be great. Uh, I can pass it that's on That's not the answer. No. I mean, you're also... Um, some, there, somebody want to read this? You're also up there, like, in a little cubby thing, like, looking at it by yourself. Uh-huh. It's like the little uh, music box that the feral kid and Max, Mad Max plays with. Yeah. Um, I'll toss it down to Alexander, since he's the one with Arcana. I imagine. I hope you. No, I cannot speak. I can speak Goblin, Abyssal, Celestial, and Common, but not. Well, like I said, I've got Eyes of the Rune Keeper, so I can read every language. Yeah, I have. I pass it down to you. Giving everybody else a chance first before I. <laughs> Shut off. Well, you know, I jump in front of everything already, so. <laughs> there's a chance somebody else can do something I'll totally give it to them but yeah no I'll read yeah. it what's it say uh, it's uh, the name Nightcaller is etched on the whistle cool you want to make a history or an arcana check mm, let me see do I have let's see I am trained in history I have religion also but not a history. fucking idiot well. <laughs> but you knew that about me already well, it says um, night caller. Alexander, you are you are about one hundred and twelve percent certain that this whistle is of high elven manufacture. See, that would be a good thing to toss out on like a seven to nine roll. Since I know a two isn't gonna be I'm... truthful. Uh um I don't think the druid knows Arcana. No, he's of course I elf. don't. Yeah. Or history. And the paladin or history. probably knows religion. Yeah, but I'm working off of I'm stupid. Eh, I shrug. I blow the whistle. Uh, Your lips fall okay. off. <laughs> I shove... Second. Guy comes running into the room. I shove that dog whistle up my dog's ass. <laughs> What? He farts a funny hiding. tune. What'd you expect? This is a place filled with cobalt. Have you seen the rooms? All right. They're all bathrooms. Well, as you even blow the, the whistle, room. just one second, I gotta get the exact deed. Sorry, I'm just feeling dead air. What I perceive <laughs> to be dead air. I'm just feeling <laughs> And then suddenly the entire dungeon starts to collapse because you played the whistle of self destruct sequence. Oh, they're dead. Worth it. Oh, hey, that get... left in the time. So, five minutes. Yeah, one of the skeletons. The Super Metroid count- time counter. You were saying, sorry? Yeah, it's, it's bones together. Stands back up and groans slightly, but makes no further movement. You own it, dude. Spooky. I know. These robes are totally kicking me. No. What is that thing? I suppose we found their means of control in the first place. Yeah, I look over and I say, open that coffin. What coffin? Uh, The one with the light on it. Dude, that's an altar. Open that altar. Sorry, I thought it was a sarcophagus. The skeleton looks at you like you're you're lacking intelligence. Oh, you know what's funny? Dead. Dead. You know what's funny? Something without a brain, yes. That, that's something. I realized I also naturally know Dwarven. It was one of the, what's one of the three options I picked. <laughs> the, the altar does not open. Alright, whatever. Follow me. Carry that... Uh, Torch, not torch. Carry that uh, candle. We're not taking the skeleton with us. Well, we aren't. Carry that candle. Let's disguise it. Yeah, 
<laughs> it's undead. Leave, leave the body. Be. I'll it's carve the flesh, whatever flesh is off of it. I'll perfume it. And we'll put it in some clothes. We'll have a it's, tea. We'll have a tea date. It's, you're desecrating the dead. Just let it be. Let it be. Let it rest. Alexander, <laughs> don't forget about the crystal vial that's there too. I have already forgotten about it. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I reminded you of it. Okay. What does it smell like? Just pop it open. <laughs> um, the the potion smells fresh and minty. Do I have any idea what that might mean? It's a potion of fire resistance. Oh, okay. Well, I'll toss that over to uh, Nat. And by toss it, I mean gently hand it over to Nat. All right. Nat, well, who has the fire breath potion, might as well have the fire resistance potion. I already drank the fire breath potion. And well, then, think of this as your second down. chance. Well, now I have resistance. Thank you for deciding that I should have this. Well, I mean, if somebody else decides, they can speak up right now and not just stare at us like we're just total assholes. No, I've, I've already taken it. All right. Leave the skeleton behind. Let's go. We need to bury these bodies. Sure Make thing. I give you a thumbs up and say, pick up the candle. <laughs> Just put a robe on it. I sell it in Dwarven. Pick up the candle. Ooh. Well, I mean, the thing is carved on Dwarven, so I assume that maybe the commands might be Dwarven related. Yeah, cool. the candle has a continual flame spell cast upon it. Cool. Right, now I'm telling the skeleton to pick up the candle. Okay, so the skeleton picks up the candle. Stay five feet behind me at all times. Except for when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> you would... We've got to be practical about these things. Right. I leave. Well, let's take yeah, our out there. had enough of this shit too. Hey, it can carry some of the bodies. No, it's an idea. Pop it's down. Bad, oh. Pop it's out. Bad one, Just yes. draw attention. Uh, Nick, I've gone ahead and offered Erky two good berries that he can take to heal because he seems like he's on low health. Or oh, it. thank you, lad. Erky, the backup healer. Hey, you know, we, we got our, our healer circle going back here. It's a circle of jerks. <laughs> Herky jerkies. All right. Well, on our way then. Uh, are we back in territory where we're, we're going to need to worry about. Well, we're heading back towards the, the Cowblin, uh, the, sorry, the Kobold um, main area. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to yeah. leave, we would just go back to the right. And out this this right. door that I'm right next to right here is this uh was this a door that I wasn't able to open earlier because I would like to open all of these doors. <laughs> we rushed to the uh, end. Now we're coming back up to explore the space as well. Yeah. yeah. So now that we're level gonna, three. I know which that door there. Yeah. I'm gonna. First, just try it with the uh, mage hand. See if it opens. If it was locked, then I will try to pick it. It is not locked. I open it and hide first. Do you uh, open it? I hide by behind here. Yes. Oh wait, this is where um Meepo was got uh getting yeah. us through. So that's, that's why we shame. haven't explored that's it. Yes, it was. That's yes, let's leave. No, no remember this. Uh, to the left and up is where the Cobalt uh, King is. Yeah. Right. With the chair okay. with the key above it. Sorry, that's that's why. So we we don't have we're not plundering right now. We're just no. We've just through. kind of you lost. You still our... need to hit me a dexterity savings throw, please. 
Oh. We just from lost... back here? We've only from, just from lost there. our uh, historic vision, that's all. Dexterity save? Even yep. though I'm like 20 feet away from the door? Yep. Okay. Da, 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 da. I also want to say tickle corn once I see a kobold. All right. So a dart flies out of the room and hits you for four damage. The dart flew from the kobold? From the uh, from the keyhole of the door. That's a giant wow. keyhole. So it would fly like this. Oh, so where are you? I'm. I, I was hiding up here. Yeah, he used mage he hand. Used so. Mage hand. Well, you see, mage. what happens is it goes right here. It bounces off there. Goes over here. Sorry, and I'm using the control L t trick to reduce the strain on my computer. I'm not seeing everything perfectly. And that's where it hits you, right there. It bounces off the that, walls like this. That uh, looks legit. Yep, because that uh, is cobalt, straight up. You know what? <laughs> that kobold you can see is named Xena. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy loves does it again. All right, never mind. I said anything. Okay. Um, and then I say, "Tickle corn, sorry." Tickle corn, tickle corn. All right. So this this is a cobalt guard room. A uh, small pit of embers built of broken masonry and po portions of shattered stone sculptures smolder in the center of this chamber. Arrayed around the pit are several small rugs woven of matted hair and dead fungi. And of course, the kobolds just kind of look at you as you open the door. Well, good thing I'm standing next to Meepo and I am hidden. And Meepo was visible there. All right. Then I sneak by. We're going this way. I'm just going to observe this and just kind of look at Meepo and go, why are you sneaking with them? <laughs> Come on now. There's Meepo. Let's go. It's not sneaking. <clears throat> and I believe we found a trap here earlier. Yeah. Wait, aren't we going to talk to the? Is that still a level up to talk to the? Uh... No. This is the level no. four, Nat. Yes. Uh, where I'm at, uh, just to my right, assuming I'm facing away from y'all, is where that conversation would happen. But I believe Oath hey. is trying to direct you out. Yes. Didn't we want to talk with the kobolds and let them know that we did a thing for them? Well, we didn't finish that thing. Oh, so we're just leaving? Well, they want we... the dragon back, and we just left the dragon in the room. Yes. Was that all they wanted? Didn't they want yeah. us to like um, deal with the goblins? And well, I guess we didn't really deal with them. Did we? Yeah. Not? No, no, we didn't. In we fact, killed we... the leader, though. Well, I don't know. We, we also count... made them happier. Well, that's between them, I suppose. Meepo, I think, wants to tell something about the tree. He can inform them the tree what to do with the tree if he wants to. Yeah, and maybe they maybe they'll give us a reward, you know, for dealing with that whole thing. And hey, well, let's talk to the kobolds. Took a corn. Yes. Tickle uh, our part has learned two words. Then has. <laughs> Yeah, we're back. I'm still with you guys. I just have to reload. Well, yeah. Remember your mage hand. Mage hand. Load it. There we go. Can't wait for your uh, Daft Punk remix of loading websites song. Yes. <laughs> Refresh, load it, makes it faster. <laughs> I am back and wondering how I can steal that key. Well, I mean, how? what's the distance on Mage Hand? Maybe you can just be really far away and then run for it. 30 feet? Yeah, no, they're faster than me. Yeah, but you have that bonus action move, don't you? I do. Which means you're faster than them. It means I'm faster than you. Unless they have, we have, but I mean, <laughs> I also have a dead body to throw behind me. Slow them down. I'd like to I'm say not... for the record, I'm just standing here with those. <laughs> yeah, nothing. 
Nothing amiss is happening. I'm just standing here. Ustril watches as you approach. So, she says, I can't help but notice that you don't have my dragon. Oh, we found the dragon. But apparently the dragon doesn't want to come to us. Unless we attack it. I think you want your dragon alive, don't you? We can tell you where it is. No longer under the control of the goblins, that's for sure. But it was very reluctant to accompany us. Isn't that right, Meepo? Yes. Kalkrik did not want to come. Eustrail looks at you. Hmm. This is acceptable. Take this and go with my compliments. But hmm. don't come back. We're not planning You've to. made no friends here this day. Well. Thank you. We're glad for your graciousness. Thank you. What, what did it give us? Exactly. Is, the key. Ah. What And what is the key for? Uh, the room. Which room? When you first entered the citadel, there was a locked door. Oh. This key will open that door, but I warn you. Take great care for what you find in there. I've already There's started no running away. Matter. Wait, are you telling me we're not friends? No. Not you. Not. I know you're not my friend. When he said, <laughs> take great warning, I was already running away and not really listening. Take great. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> I said to Meepo, I was like, I think, Meepo, this is where we part ways. It has been interesting. Thank you. For not burning down the tree. We will be careful with it, though. Yeah. So I'm burning down the tree right now, and <laughs> <laughs> we wish Pissing. you and your people well. Pissing on the ashes. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and start taking my leave. And where's this door that we couldn't open? Uh, over here. I think it's this one, actually. This one. Oh, I think uh, it's this one over this here. One. <clears throat> oh. Wasn't it? It could be into the same space. We have multiple Meepos here, by the way. Multiple Meepos. Maybe there's just multiple guys named Meepo. Hmm. Meepo's, Meepo's like a common one. name. Zinvalos like is one of the common names. Oh, it's so, like all the dwarves. They're all just called Urist. <laughs> all right. I'm going to use Mage Hand. Maybe uh, drink that potion. No, no, no. I'm just going to stand over here. So I got some cover in case something blows up. I'm going to use Mage Hand. Take well, the you key. can take for traps first. You don't have no to. No way, damage. dude. I think I already did, actually. I have um, my shield, my sword out, just in case. We first came in. What do you mean? And, did uh, you ever put your shield sword away? I haven't. Yeah, if he's been carrying bodies, probably. That's what yes. the horse was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what, what happened to the bodies after you turned back into a person? Uh, we've yep. just, I've just been dragging them. 